On Monday morning, a powerful earthquake wiped out Turkish cities. A combination of factors made the powerful earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria. More than 5,000 people have been killed by the 7.8 magnitude quake near Turkey's Syrian border, with the toll expected to grow as aftershocks reverberate throughout the day. The earthquake caused such devastation partly because of its huge power. It is the strongest earthquake to hit Turkey since 1939 in the populated region. Another reason is that it occurred at 4 a.m., which meant that sleeping people were trapped when their houses collapsed. With this, the construction of buildings was also not really adequate for an area that's susceptible to large earthquakes. Due to the fact that Turkey is in one of the world's most active earthquake zones, it is more prone to danger. Monday's earthquake occurred along the East Anatolian fault line. The East Anatolian Fault has not had a magnitude 7 quake for over two centuries, which could mean people were neglecting how dangerous it is. Because it had been so long since the last big quake, quite a lot of energy may have built up. The epicenter of Monday's earthquake was at a relatively shallow depth of about 17.9 kilometers in the Turkish city of Gaziantep, which is home to around 2 million people. This means that anywhere within the 100 kilometers along the trend of the fault is effectively right on top of the earthquake. Because earthquakes cannot be predicted, tremor-resistant buildings were crucial in affected areas. However, the resistant infrastructure is unfortunately patchy in South Turkey and especially Syria, so saving lives now mostly relies on efforts to rescue survivors and the death toll is high.